On this video, I'm going to give you five tips on how to deal with a pressure fighter. You've been in the ring before with someone who's putting that pressure on, trying to bully you around the ring, push you around the ring. After watching this video, you're going to get a great understanding of what to do the next time you're in there with someone like that. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you something that I used to do that coaches don't tell you to do when you're fighting a pressure fighter. So make sure you check that out at the end of the video as well. My name's Tony Jeffries, Olympic bronze medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European champion, and today I'm joined with boxing strength expert, Stephen Keane. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a question I get asked often about dealing with pressure fighters, and Hamza asked me in the comments below on one of my previous videos, so thank you for your request, and guys, if you've got any video requests, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be doing as many videos as I can. So dealing with a pressure fighter, it's not one size fits all, I can't give you these five tips and that will work for you. It all depends on your style or on the pressure fighter style. He might be a tall southpaw putting pressure on with a high guard. He might be a shorter guy with a Philly shell coming at you. It all depends on who you're in front of. And generally the way I like to think about it and the way I'm going to advise you is on a shorter fighter who's with his hands up high coming forward throwing them punches because nine times out of ten them are the guys that are putting the pressure on when you're in the ring with them. So we've got Steven, he's going to be my pressure fighter. Tip number one is, we're in here, is keep it long. He's going to put his, come forward, I'm going to keep it long, trying to throw them long punches, keep them off there, keep them at bay all the time. I don't want to let him come close and throw the punches and mix it up with me like this, because that's exactly where he wants to be. And if I do that with the shorter opponent, that's just playing into his hands. I want to keep it long, move my feet, and keep them off me all the time. So when he's coming forward, he'd be cutting the ring down, I'm moving around, moving around, keeping it long, keeping it away from them ropes. The last place I want to be against Steven, against the pressure fighter, is with my back on the ropes. So you want to move around, try and get to the center of the ring, then move the other way, keep moving around, keeping them punches long. Tip number two is making sure I bring my hands back on my face after each punch, because pressure fighters often throw bombs. So if I'm here and I throw a jab and I bring my hand too low, boom, I'm wide open for that one. So if I, so if I throw a one, two, and I don't bring them back in my face, one, two, I'm open for that hook there. So you've got to make sure you bring your hands back to your face after every punch, especially against a pressure fighter, or he's going to hit you and hit you hard. And tip number three is hit him hard. When he's coming towards you, really smash him with that jab. Don't be doing the pitter patter punches, because if you do that, that leads me on to tip number four, which is letting them bully you. So tip number four is don't let them bully you. And how do you not let a pressure fight you bully you? Is by hitting them hard, moving your feet around, and really not showing them any respect at all. Yes, you can move back, but that doesn't mean he's bullying you. You can hit him, whack him, and if you are in a fight, smile at him, wind him up, do whatever you can do to show him very little respect when you're in there. So tip number five is faint with the feet. Keep him thinking all the time. His goal is to get me on the ropes so we can go to work on us. I want to keep off them ropes as much as I can. So when he's coming, I'm going to faint one way, he goes that way, then I go around and get out of there. Faint with the feet. And guys, I've done a full video on fainting with the feet. Check that out because that's going to help you so much when you're in against a pressure fighter. So fainting with the feet. Faint one way, go the other way. So I'm here, faint that way, go this way. And then I can do it the other side as well, where I'm going to faint this way, he's going to cut the ring off and then I've escaped there and I've got straight out of him. And now finally, what I used to do when I was in with a pressure fighter that coaches didn't tell you to do. Guys, before I tell you this method, please make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button, it really helps the channel. Also leave me any video requests or any comments below and I'll be reading them all. So what I used to do with a pressure fighter was try and hit him in the body. The last thing is shorter, pressure fighter opponent is expecting from a taller guy is a body shot. So I'm looking for that body shot all the time. Doing what I said before, keeping it long, moving your feet. But this time when he comes close, I'll step into him, boom, boom, and then from there, go around with that left hook the body. So I would let him come close and work on my guard. And then what I would do, I would try and sneak in a little uppercut to try and get him to raise his hands and then whack him with a body shot, just like this here. And a half, I think the, um... Mahaney can't run too happy about that, but he's down from a body shot. 
So he's coming forward, throwing the punches. Boom, boom. I've come back where Overcoat whacked him with that body shot. And the last thing a pressure fighter expects is getting hit with a body shot. Guys, give these a go next time you're in the ring with a pressure fighter. And please come back to me. Let me know on YouTube or Instagram how you get on with them tips right there. Thank you for watching.